what happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a uh body care empties video and this is pretty much everything that i use outside of my bath and body work items um and so i just want to show you all right here this is everything i'm going to be talking about today these are all the body care items that i've used up over the last year i'm just gonna go ahead and hop right on into this and show you all what I have used. I'm just gonna pull and go because it's a lot of items. Feel free to go grab some tea, grab some water, grab some coffee. Um, this might be a long video. So the first item that I used up here is a body wash in um, from Jason. Um, and it's in the scent Revitalizing Citrus Body Wash. You all, this stuff smells so, so good. Oh, it's just like a sweet, creamy orange. Oh, I love this scent so much. But sadly enough, the lasting power on it was like, well, not even lasting power, but like the lather on it was really, really weak. And I don't know, just the fragrance, just the body wash itself didn't do well for cleansing my body, but I really liked it for the fragrance alone. And I really liked that the bottle came with a pump. Um, I ended up using it up as a hand soap and a lot of people really enjoyed it. I had a few um, guests over and I had it in the guest bathroom and they complimented me on how my soap smelled. So if I did repurchase this again, I would repurchase it as a, I would repurpose it and use it as a um, hand soap, but not as a body wash. Um, but this stuff smells really, really good. And I believe I got this from Marshalls or either TJ Maxx. The next item my hubby used up, he used up an Axe body spray and Phoenix. Um, this stuff smells really good. You know, you all know Axe. Yeah, it's just a nice, strong, manly scent. Um, so yeah, he used this up. Um, he also went through, finally, his Dove Men Plus Care in the Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. That's in the scent Fresh and Clean. I don't even remember how this stuff smells. Yeah, it smells, again, like another man scent. So yeah, my hubby went through a shampoo and conditioner. Um, he also went through a deodorant in Gillette Clear. This is his absolute favorite deodorant, and it's uh, in Cool Wave. Um, I went through a, y'all, this bottle is absolutely icky, but I went through a Shea Moisture African Mint and Ginger Detox Hand and Body Scrub. This stuff was absolutely amazing. I actually really enjoy using this up a lot. Um, I, okay. The scrub was really nice and amazing, but I was actually really sad because, okay, this is loud, but I was actually really sad because by the time um, I got to like the end of this, it actually had went bad. And so if you use this while it's good, it's an amazing body scrub. That peppermint gives you that tingling sensation all over your body. Like really, really like this a lot, um, but it went bad on me towards the end. So yeah, I would recommend this though. This is a really great body scrub. Um, next item I went through was a facial scrub. It's an in shower facial scrub by Olay and it's in white strawberry and mint. I really enjoy this scent a lot from Olay. Um, I had this facial scrub for quite a while and I ended up finished using it up as just a body scrub all over. And sometimes I really like using facial scrubs on the body because I feel like they leave the body feeling really nice and soft and supple. Sometimes more so better than the other scrubs, like scrubs like this, they tend to be a little bit harsher, which I don't mind if I'm looking to get a really nice deep cleanse, but sometimes I just want something a little bit gentle. So sometimes I'll use a facial scrub for that. And this one worked really well. I haven't seen this in the store anymore, but I know they still sell the body wash. And so I might go and repurchase the body wash because I really enjoyed this scent, the white strawberry and mint. Um, I also used up another scrub. This was an actual foot scrub and this is from Freeman. It's in the scent Peppermint and Plum. Really enjoyed the scent. This stuff works really great for the feet. Um, I would repurchase this. I actually have, this is, I think this is my second one that I went through of this. Um, next item we have here is another body wash from Olay. Um, this is the Shea and Rosemary Mint body wash. Um, it says indulgent rich moisture with every wash. That's what the packaging looks like. For the longest, you all, I think I was using this wrong. Um, at first, I used it and I really couldn't get it to like lather up. And so I just kind of like stopped using it and I thought it was a dud. But I'm so glad I didn't give up on it because I came back to it and it's a creamy body wash. And so I found that when I put it on my towel, I really had to kind of scrub it my towel and get the suds to come up first and then put it on my body. And when I say it was so, so good, the Rosemary Mint, I believe this one gave a nice slight tingling sensation as well. I enjoy that with body washes and body care and stuff like that. But it's Moisture Ribbons Plus um, Shea Rosemary Mint. I would, re I would recommend it. Don't know if I would repurchase it though, but it was really good. I enjoyed using it. Next item I used up here is, um, it's actually something from Avon. I've had this for ages. It's the Emory Seduction 
by Avon. And this smelled really, really good. I did enjoy this. Yeah, it's a perfume skin softener is what they call it. It's pretty much a body lotion. But yeah, I went through this completely. Uh, this stuff smells really good. Um, next item I used up is a bath salt. Um, this is the Sweet and Shimmer bath salt. It's called Frosted Sugar Plum. Yeah, I actually got this from Ulta. I think I got it on clearance. Yeah, it was like two bucks. And oh, this smelled really, really good. It's just like a nice, sweet um, candy scent. Like, I really enjoyed this a lot. Yeah, so this is a bath salt. I would recommend this and actually would repurchase it. I actually went through a Curve Crush. Um, it looks like this is a shower gel. I had this for a really long time too. I don't really think I care. It was weird. This this shower gel actually had like a sh slight shimmer to it. Um, it's okay. Um, I like the scent. Yeah, it's okay. I like the scent enough. It's it's a possible repurchase. I'm still using the actual perfume of this right now. And I found a use for it that I really, really like. Um, I kind of use it as a bedtime scent. It's really nice and really fresh. So, yeah, I do like it. I wouldn't repurchase it as a shower gel, but I might repurchase it as the perfume. Next item that I used up here is another exfoliating body scrub and wash. And this is the scent Juicy Grapefruit. It's from the brand You Are Amazing. And it says smooth it out. I think I got this from Walmart. This stuff smells really, really good. I think I have one more backup of this. And it's just a nice... Oh, juicy, juicy grapefruit. This smells really, really good. It smells like a sweet grapefruit. I would recommend this, and I totally would repurchase it if I saw it again. Although it was clearance style when I purchased it, so I doubt it if they still carry it. I also went through a sample product. This is Body Care. It's from Palmer's Belly. Um, it's the massage lotion for stretch marks. Um, I mean, I only was able to use it like once or twice, so can't say if it's good or not, but it was smooth and moisturizing. Um, I also went through some Tums. This was the Chewy Bites and Berries and Cream. This stuff was really good. I actually enjoyed eating this. Um, I think I like this version better than um, the Chalky Tums. Um, you know, the, the regular ones that it comes in, that chalkiness I don't really care for. But these were made me eating Tums a lot more enjoyable. Um, I used this, actually I used up this whole bottle. 32 came in here, but when I was pregnant, I had really bad heartburn halfway through. And so um, this helped me get over my heartburn really quick. And it says um, that it goes to work in seconds and it is pretty immediate. So I actually would recommend this if you all saw it. Next, I used up a lot of deodorants. So I'm just gonna go through and show you all the deodorants that I went through. So the first one here is a 48 hour per antiperspirant cooling care from Adidas. So that's what this looks like. It's just like a little travel size deodorant. I'm pretty sure oh, nothing's left in it. It smells good. It smells like an active type of antiperspirant. Um, so it smells very sporty. So yeah, I used this. This was in my tr um, my workout bag that I used to keep in my car. So I went through this. I went through my deodorant of choice is actually Suave Powder Deodorant. So that's that. As you can see, I used this completely up. I went through one, two, three four <laughs> a lot of them five okay so i went through okay looks like i went through five of these deodorants um i do really like this deodorant a lot so as you can see your girl stay fresh okay so yeah i went through five of the suave powder deodorants i also went through a couple of other deodorants i went through a natural deodorant is from it's from Schmitz. It's called uh, Cedarwood and Juniper. So I really, really enjoyed this. I have it in the mini. I enjoyed it so much that I actually purchased it in the full size container. But um, what I will say is that I actually won't purchase it, and I actually won't even be able to get through the full size one that I purchased. Mainly because um, this is something that if you continue to use consistently over time, you'll start to have my skin started peeling underneath my arm, and then it also caused me to have like bumps and things like that, and it caused my armpits to get a little bit darker. So as much as I love the scent, number one and two, it works great. It really neutralizes your odor, like you don't smell good or bad. It's just very neutral. I really like that. But because it's causing me to have like certain skin conditions under my armpits I, unfortunately I can't use it anymore but if you're looking for a natural deodorant I'd say try it out and see if it works for you but unfortunately it didn't work for me um this size did anyway when I bought the big one it just 
it didn't work using it consistently. Next, I used up Assure deodorant, Invisible Solid. I'm not really sure if I like this or not, but I went through it and I used it completely up, so I must have liked it. But I still always go back to my Suave Powder deodorant. Um, what else do we have here? I think that's all the deodorants. Next, I'm gonna go through um, um, toothpaste that I used up. So me and my hubby, we pretty much use baking the Colgate baking soda um, and peroxide whitening. So we went through one, two, three, four, let's see, five, six, seven. <laughs> eight um nine okay we went through nine i actually and there's one more that's in my bathroom that's empty so technically we went through 10 of these toothpaste you guys and i like to make sure i squeeze every little ounce out of my toothpaste that i can um, so yeah, uh, this is our one that we mainly use. We went through 10 of these over the last year. Um, we also went through some different types of toothpaste. I got this vitamin paste, um, and it's supposed to be a supplement. It says supplement your smile, but it's, it has zinc, celium, magnes, vitamin D and E, and three B vitamins in it. So it's supposed to be a toothpaste that has also like vitamins in it or whatever. So I used it. I can't say that I really got any, you know, I, that I could taste it or that I feel like it helped supplement me or anything like that. But it was cool to try out. Um, didn't really like the foaming power of it, but it was okay. It's in the mint flavor. We also went through a, a Tom's anti-plaque whitening toothpaste. It's in peppermint. I don't think I cared for this either, but we finished it up. Uh, we also went through now this one I actually really enjoyed a lot I have the box of it too because I might try to go find it I think this is either I think this is a Korean toothpaste but it's called Vusin and it's premium dental care make your uh, teeth beautiful that's what the packaging looks like here it's really like a luxurious type of toothpaste and um this is what the actual packaging looks like i used up the entire tube well me and my hubby did but what i can say about this is that it felt really good um and i think maybe it did have some good um brightening qualities to it it's in the scent citrus mint um i think i looked this up and i think this retails for like 40 bucks i got it at a dental show um that i got it at a dental show from when i used to travel for work and yeah i'm glad i got it for free but i wouldn't spend this much money on a toothpaste but it was really good so if y'all looking for like a high-end nice toothpaste i actually would recommend that oh okay i have another body scrub that i went through i went through saint ives pink mandarin and orange scrub it's an even and bright i really really love this scent from saint ives i've used it up in the body wash now i have the scrub really enjoy it would totally um bite again I actually have since we purchased it and have went through another body wash of this, but it's not here in this particular empties video. Next, I have some um, travel size items that I went through. These are lotions. Um, this is a Neutrogena, Neutrogena Travel Body Lotion. So these are the little samples that they give you at the hotel. Um, like I said, I used to travel for work a lot. So I always used to just snag those, especially the body lotions because they're actually like really good. So I went through um, four of these. I used to keep them in my purse just like as um, hand lotion. Um, let's see. Next item I went through is a lot of vitamins. So I went through a phase of trying to find the perfect prenatal from when I was pregnant. Um, so the first one I think that I used was gummies because I'm not good at remembering to take my vitamins and stuff like that. But I started off taking the GNC prenatal gummies. Okay. These were actually really good. The, the flavor was nice. Um, I would recommend these if you're looking for like a, a nice and expensive, uh, prenatal. Um, and then from there I graduated. Oh, actually I went through two of these. Okay. So I went through two of these. All right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I went through two of these. And then from there, I graduated to the actual peel version. And this one is the prenatal with iron. Okay, so that's the thing I didn't like about this one is that it didn't have iron in it. So when me and my hubby started trying, that's what I was taking. And I took this maybe the first month or two that I was pregnant. Then I switched over to this one that had the iron. And then I settled on using um, Ritual uh prenatals and these things are actually really amazing 
um i went through uh two bottles of this and i actually really really like this a lot um what I like about it is that they have this little tab in here and it's infused with lemon essential oil. And this stuff has your prenatal smelling so good. And you know, the lemon scent is also supposed to help with like nausea and things like that. Like this stuff was absolutely amazing. Um, I like that. So the bottle was transparent and the capsule itself was transparent as well. And you could actually see the liquid inside of it. It had fish oil and everything in it, iron, all that good stuff. Um, I actually would highly recommend this for um is this different it's central it's central for women prenatal okay yeah and it's vegan too so i actually would highly recommend this if you're looking for a nice prenatal while you're pregnant um so yeah i was using this and then i found my uh primary care and then i found my OBGYN who was going to take care of me throughout my pregnancy and she started prescribing a, a prenatal to me so i just started using that instead of having to pay for something out of pocket um but if i had to pay for a prenatal i would definitely be using ritual um, this stuff is really, really good. Next, I have a couple of lip items here. Um, I guess I should have featured this in my makeup empties, but here we are. I have a Carmex that I went through. I also have uh, one, two Blistexes that I went through. I also have a, a Chapstick Duo that I went through. This stuff was actually really good. I scraped out everything at the bottom. I think this is watermelon flavored. Really like that a lot. I also went through an Aquafina lip balm here. This stuff is really good. I don't think they sell it anymore, but if I found it, I'd pick it up. I went through a few lip scrubs. This one is the Elf Lip Scrub in Brown Sugar. I declared this an empty. I think that it went bad on me, so it actually didn't scrub my lips anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. And then I also went through the uh, Elf Lip Scrub in, what is this, Mint, Ma Mint Maniac um again i think this went bad on me too so then i stopped using it so that's that my husband went through a few tea tree oils he actually uses this to um when he when he has breakouts on his skin so he went through one two of these we also went through oh okay more toothpaste um crest gum defy this was a travel toothpaste i went through and then this is a hand cream. This is really, really old. I use this. This was something that I had from when I was serving in the Peace Corps. So everything is written in Russian, but yeah, it's just pretty much like an aloe hand cream. So I went through that. Also went through a multivitamin with iron. I also went through a hand sanitizer. This was in the scent Coconut Lime. I actually really like the scent a lot. I'm probably going to repurchase this bottle for like a travel perfume because it's two ounces so it's travel friendly and then I also went through a foaming hand sanitizer I think I got this from Dollar Tree I really enjoyed this dispenser like the hand it foams up or whatnot I think that's pretty cool um so oh it says alcohol free okay but it's a two ounce hand sanitizer so I think this is all actual body care um we also went through some air fresheners um we went through the glade air freshener in white tea and lily i actually would recommend this scent it smells so so good we also went through lavender and peach blossom this is really good as well we also went through blue odyssey okay we went through a lot of wallflower plugs so these are all from airwick I just started purchasing the Airwick wallflowers because, um, I don't know, I just think they're a little bit more inexpensive, but these are a variety of different scents. I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these, and I've actually went through more. I just don't have them all, but I know this was in the scent like Hawaiian Breeze and like a lavender scent. So yeah, I actually really like these a lot. The throw is really good. Always get compliments in, in my house when I use them. So I would recommend these if you haven't. These are the wallflowers from Airwick. Also went through an antibacterial hand soap in lemongrass. This was really good too. Got lots of compliments using this in the guest bathroom. I purchased this from Aldi, believe it or not, but it actually was really good. I also went through a soft soap hand soap in crisp cucumber and melon. I also went through peony petals from dial and i also went through hawaiian breeze from glade glade this stuff smells really good i do like that scent a lot and the last thing i went through was a hair dew daily moisture lotion 
So that's this. And then really quick, I just want to go through my natural hair empties. So this kind of starts that off. I also went through a Treasure Made Botanic and um, it has shea butter and hibiscus in it. So that's a Treasure Made conditioner. I went through um, an Africa's Best Super Grow Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I also, my hubby, he went through a, a Lock and Twist Gel from ORS. And then the final item that I went through here was a shampoo from Love Beauty and Planet. It's shea, butter, and sandalwood. This stuff was really good and I did enjoy it. Packaging super cute. This is the body care that me and my hubby has used up over the last year. Hope you all enjoyed this empties video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I love to have you. And as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.